Hi, I've been thinking about this video for a few days. It's uh, on uh, the states of self-actualization, higher awareness, etc. Uh, and I've been looking at different ways on how you can get there. And then one of my clients, one of my co-coaches, uh, Carrie Hales from England, sent me an article on a uh, guitarist, uh, Wilco Johnson, uh, who uh, has been he's 65 years old and was just diagnosed with uh, pancreatic cancer and doesn't have that long to live. And he talks about what, here's the quote, uh, the strange euphoria he has experienced since being diagnosed with terminal cancer. Uh, a percentage of people go here. A percentage of people go to these euphoric states, to these self-actualized states, where they uh, see that life is fragile, it's terminal, and they go into this deep state of appreciation. Uh, Wilco Johnson describes it brilliantly in this article, so I'm going to see if we can embed this article, the, the link to this article, in, uh, in the video somewhere so you can read it. But there are different ways to these higher states of awareness, self-actualization. One way is I teach, and I think all ways there are traumatic. Uh, a chiropractor from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania says, Mackenzie, I don't like you, I don't like what you, like what you do, but the results of the weekend I, I, I love. Uh, a couple of movies, what got me started thinking about the different ways there, uh, I watched one of my favorite movies, possibly my favorite movie, possibly the one that uh, people ask me, uh, is a movie called Bullworth with Warren Beatty. And I'm going to spoil it for you a bit. He is a politician who uh, puts a hit out on himself. So he knows that any moment may be his last moment. So he becomes an enigmatic oxymoron, if that's such a thing. He becomes an honest politician. And it is so much fun to watch because the things he says uh, are so true and they so shock you and everybody watching, uh, that it's, it's worth the watch. Uh, if you watch the movie Fearless, another great depiction of uh, the state of self-actualization, again, not a way I would want to go out. Um, he, Jeff Bridges, experiencer, yeah, lives through a real devastating airplane crash and goes out into higher states of awareness, loves everybody for no reason. It upsets his family immensely because he's not who he should be. Uh, so there's uh, Maslow <clears throat> says that most people will wait, make make it to a self-actualized state. Each decade marks an exponentially easier time to get there. Uh, he's, Maslow says that most people will get there minutes or days before their death and uh, just go out into these great states of appreciation. For years I thought that people would be like remorseful that they hadn't spent time there, but once they get there, they embody it, and it, these are great states. Uh, it's why I teach what I teach. Uh, you can wait, you can survive a plane crash, you can lose loved ones, uh, but certain people default out into higher states of awareness when they're when they're pushed with tragedy. Apparently, this Wilkes was got this what seemed like devastating news. His system took over, and he went out into these real high states of awareness. Read the article. It describes self-actualization pretty clearly. Have a fun day. www.micpeakperformance.com